what's up guys i'm back with another video and today i'm going to be answering a few questions that i've been asked over and over again ever since i started uploading content online especially drum covers and live arrangements i've always been asked how do you remove the drums from the original songs for your drum covers or how do you extract the vocals from any song to create an acapella track or an instrumental lastly how do you generate individual stems from the original song so the answer is artificial intelligence what is that i'm glad you asked so artificial intelligence is the simulation of human intelligence that is put in machines and programmed to act like humans and think like humans so for example instead of me having to manually use some software to extract the vocals myself i can do it with the click of a button using artificial intelligence now i've tried several ai platforms before but there's one in particular that I want to discuss today, and it's called Moises. So Moises has a website, but they also have an app, and that's what I'm going to be getting into today and demonstrating. This app is on a whole nother level. Um, it's an extremely powerful tool that you can use for practicing, for learning music, and also producing, especially remixes and live arrangements. Oh yeah, and also, it's free. So let's head over to the app and check out some of these features so we can see how everything works in real time. All right, so when you first open the app, you'll come to this screen, uh, the sign in screen. It's basically asking you if you want to sign in with your Apple account, your Twitter account, Facebook account, Google, or at the bottom it says use your email. I'm going to use my email. Um, now, this is where you sign up if you don't already have an account for this tab um, or you can click over and log in if you already have an account. Since I already have an account, I'm going to log in here. If you look at the bottom of the screen, you'll see a blue circle with a plus sign. This is the button that you click on to import a track. And then once you click on that button, it's going to bring you to this screen or you can import from a purchase track or song from your iTunes library. And then it also gives you the option to import from the files app or Dropbox or Google Drive or something like that. So once the link is in the box, you will look at the bottom where it says process media and you'll click on that button and it'll take you to the next screen. This is where you can choose how you want to separate the tracks. So at the top, you see it says two track separation It's going to separate it into the vocal track and the instrumental. Then it has a four track separation. It's going to give you the vocals, drums, bass, and other separately. And at the very bottom, it says five track separation, vocals, drums, bass, keys, and other. And if you look at the very bottom of the screen, you'll see where it says preserve high frequencies. When you have this turned on, it's going to prevent quality loss as you do the track separation. But for now, I'm going to leave that turned off and I'm going to go with the four track separation with vocals, drums, bass, and other. So once you choose the option that you want to go with, you'll see the submit button at the bottom, click on it. And then this screen is going to show up a uh, processing file. Uh, the, the file is now processing and it's going to take a few minutes for it to process. You can enable the notifications to allow the app to send you a notification once the, the track is finished processing. So once the track is finished processing, You'll see it show up in your library. Um, it'll be grayed out and you'll see this cloud with an arrow pointing down on the side, basically asking you to download it. So then you'll click on the track and it's gonna download. So once the track finishes downloading, it's gonna to come to this screen and this is where you see the mixer and you see that it split everything up into four tracks. So you have the vocal track, the drum track, the bass track and the other. So let's hit play and just see what everything sounds like. All right, so immediately I'm noticing something at the top. And I believe it's telling me the chord progressions. Yep. So for keyboarders and anyone who's looking to learn the chords of this song, uh, this is a super powerful tool when learning music. Um, it's telling you the chord progressions. And as you can see, I didn't have to do anything. It automatically 
generated the chord progressions of this song. So now if we look in the bottom left hand corner, you will see uh, the metronome tool. Um, so yes, it has its own built in metronome. It automatically clocked the BPM of the song and it's at 93. Um, if you turn it on right here, you will see the volume show up, the volume fader. Uh, of course, you can turn the metronome up or down in volume. And then to the right, you'll see where you can pan to the right or to the left, um, wherever you want the metronome in your ears or in your speakers. So let's test this out. Sounds on time to me. Wait a minute. Also, I'm noticing something else now with these chords at the top. The chords are in time. <laughs> Man, the chords were playing in time. Um, I don't know if you all caught that or not. Um, but yeah, as I was listening back again, the chords were playing in time with the metronome. That is super dope. Super dope. Now let's look in the bottom right hand corner. You'll see this tuner. And you can change the pitch of this song. You can transpose this song or any, any song that you have in here. So I'm going to transpose it and let's see what it does. It also changed the chord progressions at the top. It transposed the chord progressions at the top. That's, that's amazing. So if you're looking to learn the chord progressions of a song that is outside of its original key, then the pitch tool would be perfect for that. Um, and also with the chord progression showing at the top and while it being in sync with the pitch tool, it's super beneficial. So Moise has recently added a new feature, uh, which is a counting tool, and it'll give you a count off right before the track starts. So if you click the settings wheel in the very top right corner, the song settings will come up and you will see where it says count in and click on that. And however many clicks you want before the track drops on a one, you can do that. So I'm going to set mine to four. And let's test this out. So that's how it works. It's going to give you a count off uh, before the actual track starts. Now, another feature they recently added is the trim tool. So say if you do the count off and the track comes in, but it's not starting on a downbeat or on a one or not starting where you want it to, then you can trim the track to make it start on the one. So that's what I'm going to do here. So click on the settings wheel again and now click on trim. And you can move where you see these two blue lines on the left and the right, you will move these inward to trim the front of the track. And then of course on the right side, if you want to trim the end of the track, you can do that as well. But for now, I want the track to start on a downbeat. So that's what I'm working on now. All right, so after some nudging, I finally got the track to start on the downbeat where I want it. That's exactly where I want it. Let's listen again. All right, now let's go back and test this with the count in. Let's see if everything is on time. And then also you might want to hit the minus 10 button in the bottom center of the screen just to make sure everything is on a one and starting on time. Yep, that's exactly what I was looking for. And look at the chords at the top. Everything's in time. You needed a perfect guy that'll make you better. So now let's go through all of the tracks and uh, solo everything so we can see, you know, what we're working with and how, how everything was separated. We'll start with the vocals. Vocals sound pretty clean. So we have to remember that we're still working with artificial intelligence. So it's not going to be perfect. But it's clean enough. Um, that's good. Now let's see what the drums sound like. Mm 
drums are solid. That's pretty clean to me. Let's go to the bass track. Yep. Bass is clean. Other. This should be the keys and the guitars. Yep, keys. Nice. So everything seems to be separated accurately. Uh, it's not much bleed at all between tracks. Um, that's a great thing. Now, depending on the song that you choose and how well it was mixed, that will determine how good and how accurate the tracks will split up. Um, that's gonna determine how good it sounds in the end. So just be mindful of that. So as you can see, it also has the faders on each track, uh, the volume fader, and of course the pan fader, just the same as it does uh, on the metronome. So you can adjust those as well. Now, of course, this app is very beneficial for practicing and learning music within the app. But say if you wanted to do some type of cover video and you wanted to use these same separated stems, the way they're split, you can do that. So if you click the settings wheel at the top in the top right hand corner, the song settings will come up and click on export. And you can export all of the individual stems, including the metronome. Uh, all the stems can be split and sent out via WAV file or MP3. The metronome, you can only do MP3. Well, say if you didn't want to split up everything, you can export the overall mix by clicking the button at the very bottom, export mix. So most of the features that I showed you guys are available on the free version, but they do have a premium version where you may need to upgrade in order to access some of these features. So now I'm going to mute the drums and play to this track just so you all can see in real time how we use this as a practice tool and also a tool for removing drums and drum covers. So guys, as you can see, this app is a beast. As I mentioned before, it's the perfect tool to use if you're trying to practice, to learn music and produce, especially remixes and live arrangements. If you wanna download this app right now, you can click the link in the description. It's available on all Apple devices, as well as Android devices. I hope this video was beneficial to someone. Until next time, peace.